Hey guys, so we just got back from the mountains. So I'm gonna share with you what we picked up for Trader Joe's. Uh, this is what we got from our Birmingham Trader Joe's. We do not have one near us. We have to go to the nearest one somewhere on vacation. There's always one on the way. So I'm just gonna start over here. Uh, we bought a lot of stuff for Christmas. So I wanted to get fun things for Christmas. And then other stuff is just stuff, you know, obviously we wanted, but uh, for Christmas, I always do like lots of cookies out and different fun things. So we got these cookie batons, these dark chocolate, almonds. Um, I got this for one of my kids' stockings, the sour jelly beans. The kids picked up the toaster pastries, the strawberry ones. Uh, we also got lemon cookies for that cookie tray. And then the kids got stuff for lunches too. So they got apple mango, like those squeeze pouches, and then apple strawberry, and then the fruit leather, like fruit wraps. I grabbed a bunch of those. Uh, and then also for lunches, my son loves these freeze dried fruits. So we got bananas and raspberries and apples, and I love them too. They're really fun because they're freeze dried. Uh, for Christmas, for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, we love having sparkling like apple cider, but this was cranberry. And we actually tried a bottle of this when we were in the mountains. So I wanted to get some more. So there's five more in the fridge um, in the garage, but I've left one out to show you guys. Um, and then we'll have that Christmas Eve and Christmas Day when we host everybody over. So this is really delicious. It is not sugar-free. It's definitely <laughs> yummy. Um, so I'm also going to be doing like a meat and cheese platter. So um, we just really enjoy eating like charcuterie boards. So I grabbed a bunch of fun stuff that they had that I have never tried. So this creamy jalapeno cauliflower dip, I've seen people rave about it. It looks really yummy. I got some carrots that are tri-colored that I can't get at my grocery store. Also, I've seen this red pepper, eggplant, and garlic yumminess. I've heard people use this on everything. Uh, the kids grabbed these for lunches. And then for that meat and cheese platter, I got these mini breeze, uh, this salami stick, and a turkey summer sausage, this burzen, if I'm saying it right, garlic and herb. And then this is like our hundredth time getting the unexpected cheddar cheese. Definitely a winner. Kind of crumbles when we cut it, but it is so... It's like it's a fan favorite everybody loves it and then my favorite hummus there i've tried almost all of them they're all good but i always keep coming back to this mediterranean it is so creamy it is so good very delicious okay back to christmas stuff i'm going to save this for christmas eve or christmas day just as something on like a platter but there's cranberry bars and really i was going for the lemon bars breakfast stuff the kids picked out frosted flakes that's my favorite sarah cereal from trader joe's this maple pecan clusters it's like crunchy and delicious you have to eat it quick with the milk on it. You don't want it to get soggy. We got these silver dollar pancakes for the kids for breakfast. Now that Thanksgiving's over and it's Christmas time, <laughs> we need something quick for them. We bought these ones before for the dogs and they love them. They're a little big, so we break them in half, but they're peanut butter and banana grain-free snacks for them. Um, this is new. I've not tried this. Exfoliating shampoo and then a hair mask. Sounds really invigorating and making your hair like amazing. So we'll see how that goes. I'll try that out. My favorite sauce ever is this Arabiata. I love it. And then these makeup wipes are my daughter's favorite. So we loaded up on three packs of them. And then I bought some of this hand cream I've never seen before. Strawberry lemon, it just sounded amazing. Again, for that meat cheese platter, I'm gonna do these camembert, I'm probably saying it horrible, cheese and cranberry sauce, phyllo bites, definitely fun. And for the cookie platters, um, these macarons. But these will go in the freezer. We've had these before, and look at all those fun flavors. They taste as good as the ones at the France Pavilion in Epcot. So that's our little Trader Joe's haul. I think that's everything. We might have snacked on stuff, too, in the car. I'm not sure. But, man, I would buy everything if I could from there. I just love it. Love everything from Trader Joe's. Do you have a favorite thing that you love from Trader Joe's? Comment down below. The one thing I couldn't find was the goat cheese ravioli. I would, like, stock up on four or five of those, and it looks like they don't carry it. It's, like, a whole bunch of different kinds of ravioli, but not goat cheese. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.